This video is for fitting Premier tracks that are 2.5 metres or above into a 90 degree bay window. The track is supplied in two lengths, and each length has an independent cording system. Fitting an Integra Premier track requires just a few general hand tools, some simple planning, and most importantly, careful measuring. The fixing method for an uncorded Premier track is the same as for a corded track, except for centering the master slides and fitting the tension pulley. Firstly, make sure that you have all of the parts by checking the contents list in the instruction leaflet provided with your product. If you are missing any parts, please call the helpline on the number provided in the instruction leaflet. We recommend that you fix the curtain track to a pre-installed wooden batten if possible. If you are fixing to a studded or plasterboard wall or masonry, please ensure that you have the correct wall plugs to suit your type of wall. These may be different from the wall plugs provided with the track. If you are in any doubt, please consult your local DIY store, retailer or a professional builder. Consider how you want your curtain to look when it is in place. Will it cover light switches, sockets or other devices? Will you be able to easily and safely reach the curtain or operate the cord easily when installed? Make sure that the cord is not hanging near to children's cots or beds where they may be able to reach it. Before commencing, you will need the following tools. Drill and drill bits, pencil, screwdriver, spirit level, hacksaw, file and masking tape. The track can be wall fixed or ceiling fixed, either inside or outside the window recess. When you have decided where you want to fit your track, use the spirit level to mark out the position of the track. If you are fitting outside the window recess, you should leave approximately 15 centimeters either side of the recess to allow the curtains to stack back. Find the midpoint of the window and mark the position. If wall fixing to the outside of the recess, mark approximately 10 centimeters above the window but make sure that you are not too close to the ceiling or you may not be able to fit the track to the brackets. The brackets are a two-part system consisting of a base bracket and a mounting bracket. You will need to fit the base brackets to the wall first. If you are fitting into a 90 degree bay window, you need to fix a base bracket 35 centimeters either side of the point where the walls and windows meet. To fit the track into any other shape of bay window, please refer to the Integra website at www.integra-products.co.uk. If you are installing a two-part track, 2.5 metres or above, there should be a base bracket 15 centimetres either side of the midpoint base bracket. The joining bracket should be used in the midpoint. Evenly space the remaining brackets no more than 38 centimetres apart. If you are mounting onto a wooden batten, drill a 2mm hole at the marked positions and fit the brackets using the screws provided, making sure they are securely tightened. For fixing directly onto plaster, studded wall or masonry, drill the correct size hole for the wall plugs and screws that you are using. When you have fixed all of the base brackets in position, slide the mounting bracket into them. Remember that the joining piece is the longest mounting bracket. When you have fixed all of the brackets, you need to measure the amount of track you need. To ensure that you get the right length to fit correctly into the bay, first measure from the midpoint to the bracket closest to the bay corner. Write this measurement down. Next, measure from where you want the track to end to the bracket that is closest to the bay corner on the other wall. Again, write this down. Next, add 49 centimeters or 19 inches to allow for the sweep around the bend and add the three figures together. This is how much track you will require to complete one side of the bay. Repeat for the other side. When you have measured the track, allow for 10 centimeters for each end pulley if you are using a corded track and making sure that the two lengths of track meet at the midpoint of the window, mark the position of the cut on each track with a pencil. To cut the track to size, lie the track face downwards on a clean surface. If the track is corded, cut the plastic cable ties and move the master slides and gliders out of the way. Remove the pulley on each of the lengths by loosening the retaining screw and gently pulling the pulley away from the track, taking care not to twist the cords. Carefully remove the cords from the track channels, 
and fold them back beyond the marked cut line, again taking care not to twist the cords. Using the hacksaw, cut the track at the marked line. Make sure that you do not cut through the cords. Remove the burrs from the ends of the track with the file and return the cords to the channels. Slide the pulley back onto the end of the track and tighten the retaining screw. It may help to wrap masking tape around the track in several places to hold the cords in place while you fit the track into the brackets. The track has a two-stage click system to lock it into place on the brackets. You may find it easier for two people to fit longer tracks. Hook the track onto the first barb of each bracket. You will feel the first click. Start at the centre bracket and work outwards on both sides of the centre bracket. When installing around the bay, you must ensure that the bend is smooth and gradual and that the radius is a minimum of 22.5 centimetres, or 9 inches. The centre of the bend should be a minimum of 15 centimetres, or 6 inches, from the point where the walls meet. If you try to make the bend tighter than this, the track will buckle and will then be unusable. Once the track has been mounted on all of the brackets to the first stage click, check the position of the track and centralise as necessary by moving it from side to side. Once the track is correctly positioned, press firmly to snap the track over the inner barb to engage the second stage click. Conceal the joint by clicking the joint cover over the join. Remove the masking tape from the track. For ceiling fixing or fixing to the top of the window recess, you do not need the base bracket. Mark the end positions and the midpoint of where you want the track to go, and using the spirit level, draw a line between the two points, ensuring that it is parallel to the window. Remember to leave 15 centimetres at either side of the window for the curtains to stack back if you are fixing to the ceiling outside the window recess. Find the midpoint of the window and mark the position on the ceiling. The positioning of the brackets is the same for ceiling fixing as for wall fixing, as previously shown. Drill and insert the appropriate wall plug. Fix the bracket to the track using its first click point, screw the bracket and track to the ceiling, and once all brackets are fixed in place, push the track to the second stage click. Using the screws and washers supplied, fit the overlap arm to the master slide that is the same side as the cord drop. Now on to the last stage of fitting the tension pulley to each cord. Small children and babies can easily become entangled in the loop of a cord, so you must fit the tension pulley to prevent access to the cord loop. Using the two screws supplied, fix the tension pulley to the skirting board, wall or window sill directly under the cord loop. Extend the neck of the pulley until you expose a hole in the side of the pulley arm. Insert a pin or nail into this hole to hold the pulley neck in the extended position. Remove the central barrel of the pulley by pulling it down and out. Place the cord loop inside the pulley and replace the barrel in its original position, ensuring that it clicks into position. Take up the cord slack in the pulley by pulling one of the knotted cord ends at the master slide until the cord loop sits inside the pulley barrel. Tie a knot in the cord directly behind the master slide. Remove the pin or nail from the hole in the pulley neck. The neck will now slide back inside the pulley body and tighten the cord in the tension pulley. If the cord still feels a little slack, go back to the master slide and pull the cord tighter, re-tying the knot when the cord feels tight in the tension pulley. Only when you are satisfied that the cord is tight in the tension pulley, cut the excess cord at the master slide, being careful to cut the cord in front of the knot so that the knot stays in place. If you remove the knot, the cord will unravel. If the cord becomes twisted, rotate the head of the tension pulley to untwist the cord. Repeat this process for the cord on the other length of track. That's the fitting complete. You can fit your curtains to the track.